There are strands that, that connect. When University of South Carolina Associate Professor Hunter Gardner took her first Latin college course, she didn't love it. In fact, the one and only C grade she received in her four years as a student was in Latin. But instead of turning her off, Gardner became enthralled with the language in graduate school thanks to several professors who inspired her with their non-traditional interpretations of Latin poetry. Today, Gardner is herself an inspiration to her students in, of all things, Latin poetry. So inspiring, Gardner caught the eye of the dean in the College of Arts and Sciences and was tapped to be in the inaugural class of four faculty named McCausland Faculty Fellows. It's an honor, obviously, um, I, that I was not expecting. Because it, it's a recognition that the university really wants you to stay. I, Two longtime supporters of the university created the $10 million endowment to retain promising young faculty, launch a visiting scholars program, and encourage imaginative teaching and research projects. 1971 USC alumnus Peter McCausland and his wife Bonnie announced the gift in October, saying nearly half of the money will be used to offer 20 fellowships to outstanding faculty members from the College of Arts and Sciences who are within 10 years of earning their doctoral degrees. I had a good, I got a really good liberal arts education here at the University of South Carolina. It was very important in my life and um, the thing I remember the most about my education is how good the teachers were. So the gift is directed towards supporting the faculty. In her classes filled of mostly honors college students and English majors, Gardner teaches classical mythology, Latin, Greek, and classes on sex and gender in ancient Rome. With her award, Gardner will continue to integrate new ideas with her teaching and develop new courses and transform old ones. But what I try to do with, you know, with this kind of scholarship is, is look for continued inequalities, continued um, structures that, that try, that keep men and women, bar them from equal access to power. As the university strives to provide students with programs that will provide academic challenges, inspire and spur intellectual curiosity, Arts and Sciences Dean Marianne Fitzpatrick says the McCausland gift will go a long way in helping to retain rising stars like Gardner who bring those traits out in their students. So, retaining the quality people that you have, the people who've already connected to your students, who've really begun their research careers here, have really established themselves here, is a much more reasonable approach to really building an institution. Unfortunately, uh, we just don't have the resources to do all the things that we would like to do. And so it is actually also very uh, financially reasonable to do this. It's just without the generosity of people like the McCauslands, it makes it very difficult for us to do this in a state institution. The three other McCausland Fellows are Blaine Griffin in the Department of Biological Sciences, Joseph November teaches in the Department of History, and Catherine Kaiser is in the Department of English Language and Literature. That the award really encourages me to continue coming up with new course ideas, implementing new strategies for getting the students to put together different kinds of cultural knowledge. Um, it means a great deal at this point in your career when you have proven your chops for tenure. But now more doors are opening and there are many paths that are possible as a teacher and a researcher. And it's really nice to have the, the validation and the encouragement from the College of Arts and Sciences. This says, take more chances, do what you're doing, and make the difference that you would like to make in the lives of your students and in the conversations going on in your field. With their talents, Dean Fitzpatrick says at some point they will likely be lured away to another university, but that's a risk she's willing to take. 